All bets are off to how the monarchy will survive without the queen who is the one person who protects it, the CEO of an anti-monarchy group has claimed. The queen is Britain's longest, reigning monarch and has been on the throne for 70 years. She succeeded the throne on February 6, 1952, after her father George VI died. Most of us cannot remember a time when the queen was not on the throne and Graham Smith, CEO of Republic claims that the queen has a deference that the rest of the royal family do not possess. He said that people rightly or wrongly are reluctant to criticize the Queen but that Prince Charles has been criticized his whole life and that therefore it will be a game changer when he succeeds the throne. Prince Charles was heavily scrutinized by the press and public for his affair with his now wife Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall during his marriage to Princess Diana. More recently, the Prince of Wales was also called a hypocrite for a speech he made at COP26 where he called for countries to pull together to tackle climate change despite himself flying around on private jets and helicopters. Speaking exclusively to Express.co.uk, Mr. Smith said, I think that the monarchy is in a lot of trouble because the one person who protects it is the Queen. People, rightly or wrongly, are reluctant to criticize her directly and the blame tends to shift to other people but that deference and unwillingness to criticize is not going to be inherited by Charles. People are very happy to criticize and challenge him and obviously even more so his sons and his brother. So once the queen is gone, and that's probably going to be in the next five or six years, then all bets are off really as to how the royal family can survive. Mr. Smith added that Prince Andrew and Prince Harry being in the headlines for all the wrong reasons is also a big problem for the royal family. Prince Andrew is set to face a civil sexual assault trial later this year over allegations that he sexually assaulted Virginia Jufrey when she was 17, claims he vehemently denies. Following the news of the trial, the Queen stripped her son of his HRH and military titles in a huge blow for the Duke of York. Prince Harry also had his titles removed when he had his wife Meghan Markle decided to step down from senior royal duties in 2020. This move attracted widespread media attention, which Mr. Smith claims was bad news for the royal family as it took away the limelight from them and distracted from publicity. However, royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams disagrees with Mr. Smith's claims, arguing that the monarchy is here to stay and adds tremendous value to society. He told Express.co.uk, the monarchy goes back continuously over 1,000 years, broken only by the Civil War. Polls have consistently shown support for it among all age groups. Currently the royal family carry out over 2,000 engagements a year and are attached to over 3,000 charities. Royal patronage has an enormous cachet. The Duke of Edinburgh's award scheme and the Prince's Trust are the most famous and the idea that this work could one day become obsolete is unreal. Royal trips abroad are Britain's best use of soft power and just wait to see both the enthusiasm from Britain and the Commonwealth and the vast international interest which also helps British business and tourism in the Platinum Jubilee celebrations. Looking to the future the Cambridges and their family do remarkable charitable work and also carry out sensitive missions such as William's visit to Israel and the occupied Palestinian territories. Yes, this has been a difficult time for the monarchy but the vest admiration for the Queen and for this institution which is above party politics which is so destructive, has tremendous value.